There are two main issues with Japanese knotweed affecting property. The first is the potential damage it can cause to built structures such as walls, paving, tarmac, whether or not we can grow into cracks and cause damage. However, there are a number of laws that make it illegal to allow Japanese knotweed to spread from your property. By far the most active area of law with regard to Japanese knotweed and property is litigation. The fact that Japanese knotweed can reduce the value of property means that anyone involved in the management or sale of that property could be held liable. Although Japanese knotweed has a perhaps misplaced reputation on causing damage to property, it's really the impact it has on purchasers' decisions due to perceived risk and blight that means that it reduces the value of property. People are less likely to pay the same amount for a property that's affected by Japanese knotweed as one that isn't. There are two principal methods for dealing with Japanese knotweed. One is the application of herbicides. There are a number of ways the herbicides can be applied. The problem is that that can take a long time, usually three to five years. The second principal method is excavation. There are three main methods. One is full excavation, where all of the knotweed affected soil is removed. The second is screening, where that waste is, volume is reduced by separating the roots from the soil. And then the third is reduced excavation, where only the soil that is affected by the construction is removed. So if it's a shallow construction, like a car park, you only remove the top layer of knotweed affected soil. 